it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with an unboxing of my absolutely gigantic candy coated Christmas collection you you're in for a ride you guys this is <laughs> this collection got so flipping out of control and huge and amazing that it is ridiculous this isn't even all the product right this is just the printed stuff that I created for this video and I, you're in for a little bit of a long video worth it because all of this product is just so fun and so amazing and you're gonna love adding it to your December daily but y'all <laughs> okay so let's just start let's just dig in you guys because this is not gonna get any smaller if we don't start so there are so many products in this collection let's start with the papers and you know my paper spiel if you've been here before uh my papers come in typically three sizes they come in 12 by 12 they come in uh traveler's notebook and they come in patterned card size but uh with these collections for projects like december daily uh i also offer six by eight so i have the the six by eight sizes printed here for this and the Traveler's Notebook Signatures, which also come in 6x8, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so that is what we're looking at here is the 6 by 8 but I also have them printed in the pattern card size. And uh, because there's only only one 6 by 8 will fit on a 85 by 11 printable sheet, they do not come on printable sheets because you're going to have to print them individually no matter what. Um, but these come on printable sheets and so do the Traveler's Notebook papers. Uh, the pattern cards come in 3x4, 4x3, 4x6, and six by four sizes on individual files. The printable sheets come uh, with a three by four sheet and a four by six sheet and anything that has an orientation, I don't know why I have two of these, anything that has an orientation um, specific, specifically up and down, you know, <laughs> comes in both sizes on your printable sheets. Can you tell that I am flipping slap happy? Oh my gosh, you guys, it has been, chaos just utter chaos putting this collection together because it's like it ran away with me and I couldn't stop making things and which is really exciting and it's beautiful but I am working on like very little sleep <laughs> so I apologize in advance let's zoom in a little bit so these are the papers there are 20 patterns in the collection as usual there are 10 solid papers let's look at the solid papers so we can see the color palette first you can see i've already been working with the solid papers for some reels and we are doing an entire month of uh december inspiration in december so i've been making projects for that uh you're gonna want to be on my blog every day starting November 30th for inspiration. But here are the colors. We've got red, pinks, greens, mint, black, cream. So uh, I took the typical Christmas color palette and added pink and mint and it is just so cute. I called it candy coated Christmas because that's what it reminded me of. And there are lots and lots of candies in this collection. So speaking of candies, here is paper number one love 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 this plaid you guys <sighs> something about christmas plaids just make me so happy we've got multi multi-colored hearts some holly and hand-drawn leaves berries everywhere my santas we've got two different versions well technically four different versions of santa here different skin tones different hats mistletoe on mint can't have a Christmas collection without a beautiful gingham plaid. This one is super big, hand-drawn, so it's a little bit wonky. Love, love, love all of these Christmas trees. They're all hand-drawn by me. They're all different. They're all so cute. They also come as stickers, yes. We've got a candy stripe. Of course, a floral, beautiful Christmas floral on mint. I love these pine boughs, pink with white pine boughs. Probably one of my favorite papers in the collection is this wordy paper. It just fits together so beautifully like a gorgeous puzzle. Oh, so pretty. Christmas tree icons. Strings of lights with merry and bright in between. 
another stripe, polka dot red. This one's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's mint with stars. Goody goody gumdrops and a green plaid. And lastly, some pretty present bows, just a nice simple repeat pattern. So those are all the patterns in the candy coated Christmas collection. So there are, let me move this out of the way. There are two sets of cards as usual, but there's a bonus set of cards this with this project too. Let's look at the regular cards first. I think I have all these mixed up. So this is both set one and set two of the Christmas or of the candy coated Christmas cards. Look, kittens, you guys, how rude. Ugh. Anyway, they don't come with kitten bite marks, I promise. <laughs> there are four four by sixes all together, um, two in each set. So we've got the ha happiest season of all. We've got hanging ornaments with lines in the background. Grid with peppermint swag. Holly Jolly Season on pink. So there are two um like designer cards to journal cards there are 16 three by four cards all together half our designer cards half our journal cards to be super useful so here are here's a journal tag card santa i know him now santa comes uh with both the darker skin tone santa and the lighter skin tone santa so you can print whichever one you want I christmas tree fa Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Hand drawn alphas. This is gonna be a thing, you guys. Wait until you see. In the air, there's a feeling of Christmas. Feliz Navidad. I am not even going to attempt <laughs> these other two, but this one says Merry Christmas in Dutch. This one says Merry Christmas in French. And then Merry Christmas in English. Holiday mode. Merry and bright. Bah humbug. Slaying. Burr. Joy to the world and all is calm. Some lights along a lined card. Currently making homemade gifts. Merry, Santa's cookies, Christmas cards, yummy treats, cocoa. Season of magic. Look at the snow globe, you guys. It has candy. So cute. These are a few of my favorite things, which I know is not a Christmas song, but we associate it with Christmas, so it made it in. There's also an alternate with a U for favorites, so you can print that if you spell favorite with a U. A list card, 10 numbers, 10 lines. Ticket for the Polar Express. <laughs> That's just what it reminds me of. It's just a journaling card. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. I did this one in green because it felt different. Oh, we're upside down. Our December documented and baking spirits bright. Look at all those cupcakes. Oh, so cute. So those are the journal cards. Uh, there is a third set of journal cards and it's a bit different. So let's chat about it. It comes with, it's called the daily ledger cards. And if you liked the um, daily tags for the October daily collection, October mood, you're going to love the October, or I mean the daily ledger cards for this collection. So there are 31 different ledger cards. They are all different. The lines are different. The colors are different. The numbers are different, obviously. They also come unnumbered. So if you want to add your own numbers, uh, you can. And then what's really cool about this set is it comes with five pocket templates. I have an extra one in here. <laughs> five pocket templates, either in PSD files or PNG to cut with your silhouette or to hand cut. So they have five different backs and five different fronts. They are not patterned. They are templates where you can add your own pattern. And uh, over the next couple weeks, I'm going to be showing you how to use these um, on my Instagram. So make sure you are following me over on Instagram because we're going to have a ton of tutorials on Instagram and on the blog uh, about how to use things. But these come really easy to use because I added, you can't see because I've already assembled them, but I've added flaps to the cut files that you can score and um, fold in so that they are really easy to assemble. You have to see that reel when it goes up, but there are five different ones in five different, like this one has 
like the ticket cutout postage stamp style. This one has scallops. We've got a small circle. We've got a big half circle. This one's diagonal. Uh, and we've got um, five different backs too. So scalloped, ticket, two different rounded corners, and a straight corner. And you can mix and match them. You don't have to assemble them like they come. You can mix and match, of course. So that is a really fun uh, product that I'm super excited to use in my own December daily this month. So then, of course, we also have the Traveler's Notebook Signatures, but the Traveler's Notebook Signatures come in six by eight and three by eight as well. So here's the three different sizes. Here's six by eight and Traveler's Notebook and three by eight, which I cut a little bit off, so just ignore that. <laughs> but this is what they look like. They are um, sized specifically for those different sizes. So they're all the same, but in different sizes. So if you have a six by eight album, then you can uh, get the six by eight ones if you have a traveler's notebook, etc. So let's see. I have some printed out in traveler's notebook size because I had extra room on my print sheets. But let's look at them. Here's another three by eight. Let's look at them in a six by eight size. So of course, the first one is this very cute uh poor little gingerbread man who's missing a foot ho ho oh no the sweetest season of all sort of a journaling card or you you know just blank so that you can add photos easily too oh here's another traveler's notebook versus six by eight so this says my greatest gifts aren't under the tree they're gathered around it this one just has candy stripes all down it you can use these for journaling or it's just a pattern. I love that buffalo plaid, so I included it in pink as well with a journaling spot down on the bottom. Of course, I had to offer the candy on pink. I could not decide in the collection if I wanted pink or green, so I did both. <laughs> Another stripe. Hearts. Love, love, love these stitched hearts. The wordy paper at a bit of a smaller size and um, one color journaling tag it says makes me happy holly jolly is probably my favorite i love it so much and then a journaling card with little places for captions or a list or something like that so those are the signatures again they come in traveler's notebook three by four or no not three by four sorry three by eight and six by eight sizes so oh what to look at next okay um before we get into the stickers Let's talk about a new product that I am offering with this collection. So I am offering cut files, but they are specifically stencil cut files is what they're designed for. You can of course use them for anything and I have used them in different ways and I'm gonna show you. But there are six different six by six cut files. We've got stars, let's move this out of the way. Stars, trees, a big peppermint swirl, uh, this one is six by eight or six by six, but I just have it cut differently. So it is actually a layered stencil. So it is a Christmas tree with the bow and then you layer this over the top of it for the um, embellishments. There's a candy stripe and then this one is also six by six. But again, I, I was testing them and so I cut them at different sizes. So this one is like a six by six candy swirl. There we go. Let's see if we can actually see these, huh? Let's zoom out again, I guess, huh? Whoa, not in. Wah. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> so this one is layered. Now you can see it. Peppermint swirl. So let me show you how I've been using these. I obviously cut them all as stencils and you can get stencil, blank stencils in Hobby Lobby. They're really inexpensive. I got the 12 by 18 inch sheets and then cut them down. And I think for four or five sheets, it was like $3 really inexpensive but you can also use these as cut files and so this is what I did with the peppermint six by uh six one and I obviously edited it so it fits the six by eight there will be a reel and a full tutorial on how to do this in silhouette uh coming as well um so what I did is I cut it on glitter cardstock. I don't know if you can see the glitter. I cut it on glitter cardstock and then I inked in the background before I adhered them and created a like a foundation page for my December daily. But also I took the off cuts, where'd they go? 
Okay, so the leftovers of the what you know what was left on the silhouette mat and i made little peppermint candies so these are so useful and super fun um i have a bunch of like the um off cuts of the stencils as well and they're like little acetate pieces so i can use them as confetti like in a um shaker pocket or i can use them as little embellishments too super fun you get a lot of bang for your buck with these cut files if you uh if you think ahead a little bit. So these are super fun. I'm really actually very excited about them. I got super obsessed with making stencils and I was like, why not offer these for everyone? <laughs> you don't have to keep these just for yourself. People might like them. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also used the Christmas tree stencil with texture paste and ink. So I don't know if you can see the texture there, but this is what the Christmas tree stencil looks like all done. So adorable. Okay. So, okay, let's, let's, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this craziness right here. Uh, there are three, yes, three sets of stickers in <laughs> the Candy Coated Christmas collection because there were so many hand-drawn embellishments. I drew so much for this collection. I thought it would be a disservice to try and fit them all in one pack. So there is a sticker pack that is just the icons. There is a sticker pack that is journaling bits, word bits, and a whole sheet of hand-drawn titles, which we will talk about. And then there is a sticker set that is 12 different hand-drawn alphabets. They're all the same alphabet, but they have different patterns on them. And what's really, really cool about them, you guys, let me show you. What's really, really cool is that I designed them to be able to be cut. So you can see I have these all printed via my silhouette and ready to cut. There are 12 different patterns, including this green one down here that I already have cut. It took me quite a bit of effort to uh, make these sheets so that they would cut well on the silhouette. So they were like a total labor of love. But you can see if you are a hybrid scrapbooker, there are multiple um, A's, multiple B's, all of that. So uh, you can print this whole sheet and have multiple alphas and just like you would a regular sticker sheet. You can print it on cardstock like I did here, or you can print them on stickers so that they all stay on one sheet when you cut them. But let me show you the, um, let me show you the cut close up so you can see how accurate it is. This is a U obviously. So you can see it gets nice and close, not too much sticker outline on the outside, but there are 12 of those in the pack. Any pattern you can, uh, you can imagine, well, that's not true. Any pattern from this collection, you can imagine. <laughs> and actually a lot of patterns that aren't included as patterns too. So that is one set of stickers. Let's look at, I don't think I have, for some reason I have two floral sheets printed and not the third sticker sheet. So annoying. So there is a whole sheet of florals, obviously. There are individual flowers as well as flower clusters, individual pine branches, individual little uh, pine cones. And then there's like the border of the uh, bulbs on the bottom. Hi, Apollo. Hello. Yep, you need to go though. You're gonna chew on my stuff again. Then there are two sheets of icons. This is the second sheet, but you can see there are really fun icons here. There's two Santas, there's five Christmas trees on each gingerbread men, there's ornaments, there's patterned hearts, there's uh, the the car, excuse me, I've got a tickle in my throat, the car, the snow globe, there are this, obviously this border, and then look at this, I don't know if you saw on my Instagram, but my cats eat the gumdrop, rude. So there's four different borders on these sticker sheets. They don't come with kitty cat uh, kitty cat eating, <laughs> kitty cat eaten bits. That's what I wanted to say. But you can see there are like a hundred and, oh my gosh, there's like 140 something stickers in this set, I believe. Just totally adorable. I will of course put the previews up at the end so you can look at these more closely. Or you can hop on over to the blog. It's tracyreed.com slash journal slash candy dash coded dash Christmas to see all of these and to pick them up. And then we have the word bits. So 
There's a whole sheet of journaling bits. There's a whole sheet of word bits. And then there's a whole sheet of hand-drawn titles. So let's put these aside for the moment. We've got, you can see that they are patterned just like the alphabets. So Christmas, good, Noel, like they will make titles, Christmas cheer, decorate, move all of these out of the way, decorate, candy, December, holidays, elves, days, family gifts, traditions. I'm not, I don't remember how many titles there are, but there are quite a few, obviously. I've got a whole handful. Mary and Bright is in here somewhere. Joy, cookies, and this one looks like cookies. It's totally cute. Ah, looks like sugar cookies. Fa la la. There's Bright. Bright. Tree. Elf. Halls. So we got deck the halls in here. Here it is. Deck the halls. Cozy. Baking. And this one looks like gingerbread cookies. <laughs> gingerbread, speaking of. And peppermint. So those are all of the titles. Then I'm going to spare you because this video is already going to be super long. You can look at the um, preview. But you can see there are a ton. There's like 115 stickers on this set as well. So lots of journaling places and word strips and circles and all of that as well. You know, I love me some wordy bits. So it's perfect. Oh, I missed one. Happy. I missed happy. So that is the, that is sticker sheet. Sticker set number two out of the three. So that is all of the stickers. All right, then let's talk y'all because there are three sets of stamps. Oh my gosh. Okay, digital stamps. I know that people are always confused by digital stamps because they feel like they have to use them digitally, but let's chat. I have one set of digital stamps that is just, it's called December Days and it has 31 different dates, obviously one for every day of the month. This is what they look like. They come on print sheets as well. So you can print them just like this and then you can gold foil them. You can do so many things with digital stamps and I'm gonna create a whole series on my Instagram of ways to use digital stamps non-digitally. But this is stamp set number one. And then I'm gonna to toss up uh, digital images here while I talk. So in addition to the December Days stamps, there are two additional sets of stamps. There are the Icon stamps and the Sentiment stamps. There are 61 stamps in the Icon stamps, 48 in the Sentiment stamps, and they're so fun. So if you love to color or just really like outline uh, embellishments on your layouts, the Icon stamps are for you. You're gonna love those because, and they're nice and big. They're bigger than they're shown on the preview because you know you have to shrink them down for the preview. So if you want like a big Santa face, then you're gonna love it. Then also there are the sentiment stamps, which are super fun for you know adding to pictures or making your own pattern or just printing and cutting those as well as titles. So love these stamps. I, I always want to offer more stamps, so I'm super glad that I got around to offering three sets in this collection, so I hope that you like them. Let's talk about one more thing, which is the digital kit. I always love the digital kit preview because it gives you a full picture at how adorable and sweet this collection is. The digital kit includes 20 patterned and 10 solid 12 by 12 papers, five alphabets that are not the hand-drawn alphabets, they are like a rubber embossed alphabet that you can see right there, and then 138 digital embellishments. So it includes the icons from the collection, but of course done in um, faux digital styles. So we have like bottle caps and letter boards, there's chipboard, there's glitter, cardstock, there's uh, like those <laughs> plastic looking Christmas lights, all of that. Super fun, uh, lots of depth in this collection. Also, I got a ton, or I get a ton of questions about whether or not you can print the digital embellishments. The answer is absolutely. The thing is, is that they don't come on 
print sheets because they're meant for digital scrapbookers in the digital scrapbooking kit. Uh, but paper scrapbookers can use them too. So you can see I've printed out a bunch of embellishments from the Candy Coated Christmas kit, including uh, titles, banners, these wooden stars, these um, letter boxes. So I have a ton printed out. There will be a quick reel on my Instagram showing you how to do this as well. You can absolutely cut out digital embellishments. I prefer to cut out the ones that have a little less dimension to them, but you can, you can cut out whatever you want. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in purchasing the Candy Coated Christmas Collection, there is a link in the description box below. If you are watching this as it comes out, uh, it is 50% off for Black Friday through Saturday at uh, midnight Eastern. So that is the weekend, of, the weekend after Thanksgiving 2021. Uh, so you'll want to pick it up on sale if you can, and I will see you next time. All right. Thank you.